Hey there, everyone. I'm going to take you on a virtual showing of my new listing here at 2967 Beverly Glen Circle in Bel Air by the Glen Circle Shopping Center. We're in a gated community of four homes. We have a gate here with four other homes inside this private little mini gated community. They're all beautiful, newer Mediterranean homes, all built around 2007. So they're all newer, beautiful homes. Let's take a look at this one. We're listed for sale for $2,750,000, and it's a lot of bang for your buck. You're gonna, not gonna find another house in Bel Air with this many amenities for the price. You come here to a lovely formal kind of entryway, beautiful wrought iron doors with kind of stone trim, and the glass is even etched. If you look up close, it has a beautiful, nice etching to the glass. Let's go inside. You come into a nice formal entryway with beautiful stone floors. And there are stone floors throughout the whole first level. They're hand-hewn marble. They're quite beautifully hand-cut, as you can see. So you walk in, and there's a beautiful entry vestibule here. Actually, this was the entry vestibule with the doors of glass and the stonework. And you come into this kind of central atrium, which is two stories tall. Beautiful wrought iron. And what's the floor plan? So, you have a staircase here, which leads to the second floor. And it is a three-story home. You have a, a, a bar area, meaning a wine closet, right over here. Separate wet bar. Here's a little better look of the wet bar. You have a refrigerator, sink, cabinetry, and then the wine storage next to it. Here's the reverse view of the entry. Formal living room, kind of all by itself. Although it's open, there's no walls or doors this way. I love the stone fireplace, it's quite pretty. And since it's been owned, I don't think it's ever been used. This owner lives abroad and uses this as a vacation home, so the house is hardly used. This is the family room. It's a really nice sized room. Beautiful built-in cabinets. Wonderful fireplace. Room for a nice large flat screen TV. It's a built-in cabinets. Wonderful ceilings, and as you look throughout the house, you'll see Venetian plaster walls and ceilings, which, for those of you who know, is quite expensive to do. And really beautiful, detailed moldings throughout the house, everywhere you look. Outside here of the family room, there are French doors, which lead to a wonderful outdoor sitting area. So you have a fireplace, it is covered with the mesh. You have a nice covered area. Sitting area with the wonderful fireplace. Stonework around. And you also have a nice small little grass area here to use as well. It doesn't have a lot of lawn, but there's enough lawn at least to have a little bit. And we're here overlooking the Glen Center here at Beverly Glen, near Beverly Glen Circle. At Beverly Glen Circle. You can see the beautiful architectural details on this side of the house. So come back in. Here's a different view of the family room. Looking back into the dining room is open to the family room. And then back to the main entrance area, the living room, the bar, and the entry vestibule. And this is the formal dining room. It's a really nice size. As you can see, it can fit easily a table of 10, plus room for cupboards and, and all that. Outside, you have a lovely fire, a fireplace fountain, which gives you a nice, peaceful, relaxing look. And there's a big retaining wall. And then here's the other side of the dining room. And once again, beautiful uh, Venetian plaster ceilings, wonderful moldings, and uh, lovely room overall. Let's go back this way. So once again, living room, family room over there, wet bar, the entrance we came in. There is an elevator. The elevator goes here from the main level down to the garage level, which there's a three-car garage with laundry room down below, and it goes up to the third level. Little hallway here with a nice octagonal window. There's a guest powder room, which is also quite nice. Once again, a lovely kind of a silvery gray finish. And we just had a showing in the buyer loved these stone marble floors. They're beautifully designed. 
and lovely cabinetry. You'll notice that all of the cabinetry in the house does match, meaning powder rooms, kitchen, bathrooms are all very similar. Lots of lovely moldings throughout, as you can see. Everywhere you look, there's really beautiful coffered ceilings, moldings, lots and lots of details. And here we go back into the entry vestibule. Kitchen is really exceptionally large, has a wonderful dining area right here in the corner. And as you can see, it's a really large kitchen. Once again, the matching cabinets, as you saw in the other area. So you can see it's all nice. You got a double Viking Sub-Zero freezer and refrigerator. Nice center island. The center island does have a center sink as well, which is, has, is made of copper. And uh, over here, this is the staircase that goes down to the garage area. So from you can have direct access in the garage, three car, come up the elevator or come up the steps right here into the kitchen area. Wonderful uh, double Viking ovens here, six burners. Wonderful mosaic towel work with the pasta water spout. And you also have double Viking ovens here. So four ovens, burners, double freezer, refrigerator, basically everything you could want in a kitchen. Beautiful marble backsplashes, lovely window looking to the pool. Let's go out this way and look at the pool. So here we have a pool area with a cascading waterfall spa. It's lots of sun most of the day, wonderful roses along this side of the house. And it also has a full barbecue. This is kind of off the pool area, which we saw earlier. It's gonna be really large, like serious barbecue. It's so big, look at that. You ever seen such a huge barbecue? It's a huge barbecue storage sink out here. Lovely sitting area by the pool and the lovely pool. Let's go on this side. You can get a better view of the house and pool. So here we go. There's the sitting area, the barbecue, the spa, the wonderful pool, and the west side of the house. Okay, so here we are back in the kitchen. This gives you another view of the kitchen from this side. Again, the breakfast or dining area here. Huge walk-in um, pantry here. So lots of storage for all of your kitchen supplies. And back to the entrance we saw earlier. So once again, entryway, bar, living room, family room, dining room, powder room, closet, and um, elevator. Behind this wall is the kitchen and dining area. So let's go upstairs. There's a gate here down below, so if you have children or dogs, they can be securely protected. Nice picture window as you come up. Beautiful stonework going up. And the continued wrought iron up here on the second floor. And here we are overlooking the downstairs. The master suite is a very large room on its own, double doors. You walk in, I'll give you the first overview. You walk in, you have a lovely sitting area here with a beautiful balcony. Nice area for your flat screen TV and built-in storage cabinet. So balcony on this side, fireplace in between, which is glass in between, and then the bedroom area here. Bedroom does have a wet bar. That's nice, you have a little bar area. And once again, another balcony over there, separate another area for your TV. Enormous master bathroom, double doors once again. So you have a huge bathroom. Once again, the beautiful cabinets to match the rest of the house. Center soaking tub. You have his and hers sinks on either side. Wonderful skylight. Venetian plaster walls and beautiful, this is kind of an etched glass window, which is very nice. And then this is the other side of the bathroom. Big walk-in shower. It is a steam shower. So you have a sitting area, showers on both sides, more intricate marble details. The floors are also quite lovely. You can see all the beautiful inlays of the marble all around. And you have a ladies powder room here. And then you have a full separate gentleman's 
bathroom over here. Or ladies, whatever you prefer. But this has its own sink, has a bidet. So I guess this would be the ladies, and that would be the gentlemen's in the main bathroom. Huge walk-in closet. Lots of built-in drawers and cabinets for purses and hats and clothing. Big center island. Lots of racks on this side, more for shoes. It's light and bright. You have a nice picture window for light. So lots of room for tons of shoes. And once again, more beautiful detailed moldings. Again, everywhere you look in this house is more moldings, more storage, and lots and lots of closet space. So you can see it's a really large, spacious walk-in closet. So that's the master. And here we go, the full view from this side. Bedroom area with balcony, sitting area with balcony, once again the wet bar. Uh, beautiful wood floors in the second level, they're hewn wood floors, meaning they have a little bit of dimension to them, they're not just plain flat wood floors. That's the elevator, again goes up to the three levels. Little storage area for linens, you know, whatever you need to store up here. And then we have three guest bedrooms and a, an office. Let's start with the office. This could be an additional closet if you want. The owners have used it as a closet area. These are not built in, so they would be removed. And but it's a nice closet area, or it could be a good uh, extra closet. Here's another one of the guest bedrooms. All the bedrooms are ensuite. This bedroom has a nice TV area, nice picture window, spot for the bed, beautiful bathroom. Bathrooms are all in different types of stone and uh, same type of cabinets, but nice stonework and details throughout. So a walk-in closet behind that door. We have our second guest bedroom here. It's a nice little bedroom area. They have a day bed currently. Lovely bathroom and similar marble stonework. Then we have the third bedroom, which was obviously a children's bedroom. It's got beautiful hand-painted scenes on the walls, garden theme. So if you have children, it would be a beautiful garden theme. Or if you don't, you can just paint it to the color you prefer. And then we have a nice, beautiful bathroom. Once again, lovely marble stonework, sunken jacuzzi tub, lovely cabinets, and a nice walk-in shower. So this house is over 5,039 square feet. It's the best deal in all of Bel Air. You can't, take a look at yourself at the market, you'll see what's out there. But 5,039 square feet, built in 2007, so it's uh, about 11 years old. And uh, basically move in condition, and the owners have owned it for about eight years, um, but it's been a vacation home, so it's hardly lived in. And if you want to purchase it furnished, uh, they will certainly consider that because most of the furniture um, they don't need in their other homes. So it can be sold furnished for an additional price. And you're living in the beauty of a wonderful gated community with four homes here off of Beverly Glen near Mulholland and Beverly Glen Circle by the Glen, um, Glen Plaza Shopping Center where there's sushi, vibrato, restaurant, to market, uh, Pilates, Chinese food, everything you need, literally right across the street, so it's super, super convenient. Hope you've enjoyed this tour. If you like this house, give me a call at 310-777-6342, and I'll be happy to show it to you, or check out the website, which is belairvillaforsale.com. There's all the details. And here's a little view from the living room of the trees and the Glen Center. Hope you've enjoyed it, and if you're looking to move to Bel Air, this may be just the perfect home for you. If not, give me a call, and we'll help you find whatever is the perfect home, even if it's not in Bel Air. But take care, and thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.